Over the last few days and weeks, we've been looking at lots of graphs. I like graphing, you get to draw pretty pictures, take some time to develop the skill, but it's time that's well worth it. These are the most recent kinds of graphs we've been looking at. We start to syn synonymously call them not just graphs, but curves. That's because they're curved, okay? So I'm gonna use the words graph and curve somewhat interchangeably. These curves are really important. We have a name for this one, starts with a P, do you remember? It's a parabola. A parabola. And then this guy over here, which we looked at yesterday, is the cubic curve, which we name after this power up here, it's x cubed, okay? Now we noticed there were similarities, but there were differences. They're both curved, they both have some kind of symmetry, though they have different symmetries to each other. So now the question I want to pose to us is, what about if we push these powers, see there's a two and a three there? What if we push them up higher? What happens? Okay, now we're going to have a look at, we're gonna graph these like actually visually in a second, but before we do that, I want you to think about this numerically with me, which is why you've got a spreadsheet open. Okay, so here's what we're going to show. You know how, whoops, that's not what I wanted. You know how, okay, you're 10. We're struggling a little bit. I'm not sure why. I don't feel like we have a good reason for it. You correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Let's try again. We have something tricky and complex to wrap our hands around. Are you ready to actually learn it? Let me try that again. Thank you for at least one response. We have something tricky and complex to learn. Are we ready to learn it? Yes. That's better. Okay. You got a spreadsheet set up. All you need to have for starters is just the letter X in the top left hand corner. Okay? Now, not X for Excel, e, e for Excel. Anyway, um, I get what you mean. Now, when we were understanding this graph, what I asked you to do was create a table of values. That's what this is going to do for us, but it's going to do all the legwork for us because as you're going to see, I'm going to ask you to do a lot of values. Here's what we're going to start with. For the cubic curve, do you remember I asked you to do seven values across here? Do you remember what the seven were? You've got them pres presumably on your previous page. What were they? Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and three. Very good. Negative three all the way up to three. But this spreadsheet here, every single cell is a calculator that can do work for us. So let's go a little bit further. Let's say go to negative four. Okay. Now, I'm only doing that on my screen just because I'm going to struggle to fit the rest of them. You can make yours even like, you know, more negative if you want, but you'll get enough of a pattern from here. Oh, great. Let's turn that internet off. That's not helpful. Okay. Now, I want to go one for each value as I go across. Okay. That's what I did when we had a look at the, um, the cubic curve. So to do that, if I say equals, this is going to start a calculation for us. In Excel, you can either, I think, go left on your keyboard, or you can just click on this cell over here, and it'll take that cell and do whatever you like to it. I want to add one, so plus one. No big deal, okay? You could have typed that just as easily, but now, if you go ahead and you copy this cell, you remember what happens when you copy a formula? It doesn't just copy the number, it copies the instructions behind the number, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that, I think I need to actually click on it, and I'm gonna paste it over a bunch of times to get it to generate all my numbers. Ta-da! So there's the first step. You can see I've got it nice and symmetrical. Okay. So we want to work out what happens with these powers. Let's just start with the powers we already know, okay? So this one over here, I'm going to make it x, and then I'm going to teach you how to use this symbol above the, um, above the 6. If you go shift, you'll get this symbol here, which we actually call the hat. Okay? So if you go x, and then the symbol, and then 2, in a second, on the right-hand side, this is going to raise whatever we want to the power of 2. Okay? It doesn't do anything on the left-hand side here because I haven't pressed equals. Did you notice that? So it's not a formula right now, it's just 
the characters. But now I do want a formula. So I'm going to go equals. And I want to square the number above. So how do I get it to you know, point to another number? I'm just going to click on that cell up here. That cell there. It, to get that hat, the arrow thing, you go shift and then six. And if I type in two, it will raise it to the power of two. What should the answer be? That's great. But the real power of this is you could have written that just as quickly or faster manually. But now I can copy this, which will not copy 16, it will copy the formula. The formula. And then I can paste across. Okay, so there's x squared. For the next one, I want x cubed. And you can see, in exactly the same way, I'm going to do the formula. I'm going to click on a cell to get instructions. And then I'm going to raise it to the power of? Three in this case. So what we've now created is exactly what we've accomplished over the last two days, okay? Except it's just crunched all the numbers for us, okay? Now this is a really important point. Take your hands off your keyboards and look up for a moment because this is a really significant 20 seconds, okay? We're about to get all the higher powers, four, five, six, whatever you want, okay? But importantly before we do it and get the computer to do the legwork for us, I want you to make a prediction, okay? What do you think the x to the power of four line row what do you, don't tell me, I just want you to think about it. What will it look like? What about x to the power of 5, x to the power of 6, and so on? What kinds of patterns do you expect to see? What things will be the same and what will be different? I'm going to ask you to take a moment to actually go to your book. See how here it says, what about higher powers? Underneath there, I want you to make some predictions. Make two or three or four, however many you can think of. What will be the same? What will be different? I'll give you about a minute to write some things down. 